Hey everybody, Beth Helvey with Couture Real Estate. It is Thursday, October 29th. A couple more days till Halloween. I hope you're doing good. Yes, I've got wind blown hair. If you were saw my feed, I was uh, at Lilo Beach on the seventh floor of one of my listings and the wind up there can get interesting. So this is the hair. Anyway, I've uh, been talking to a lot of people about interest rates. Buyers are coming to my area in droves, and um, this is what things are doing. Now, I know you all have been paying attention. I know you all know that interest rates have come down significantly. And here's what we do know. We do know that they're going to stay down for a while. Um, yes, there's an election coming up. Um, from what I understand, from what I've been told by experts in the area, that no matter who wins the election, interest rates are not going to change. So but they will go up. I mean, they have to. They're crazy low right now. They're gonna go up. And the prediction, of course, nobody has a crystal ball. The prediction is that they'll start going up sometime next year, middle of next year to end of next year, something like that. But here's the thing, is the, the interest rates, we're telling people that these interest rates are like basically bragging rights, um, that you're gonna be bragging about your interest rate forever. And I actually have people who are coming to the area that were going to buy a property for cash that aren't going to now. And they're not going to now because the interest rates are so low that they are actually making money. You know, it's a better investment for them to, to get a loan than it is for them to pull their money out of another investment to pay for the property in cash. You follow? So just to give some people a bit of an idea of exactly what these interest rates look like, I wanna talk about your monthly payment. Because what people are finding too is if you came and saw me last year, which is not unusual, it's not unusual for my buyers to come back a couple times before they buy. If you saw me last year or the year before, sometime during the year your interest rate was higher, when you're coming back now, you can afford more than you could. That's the point. So for this particular discussion, we're gonna take some very basic terms. We're gonna take some very basic stuff. We're gonna go with a $400,000 property that has no, we're not gonna talk about HOA payments or condo payments or anything, but a $400,000 property, 10% down payment and a 30 year conventional mortgage. That's what we're gonna do. Because we're going to um, basically, so we have an apples to apples comparison. So. As of this morning, interest rates for a 30-year fixed mortgage was 2.6%. I mean, it's crazy. That, under those terms, you're, in, you're more um, with PMI, because you still pay PMI um, and uh, taxes, you would pay approximately $2,140 per month on a mortgage, okay? Now, let's say we go back to October 30th, um, 2019, the interest rate was 3.9%. So if you take the same terms, $400,000 property, 10% down, 30 year mortgage, okay, and you add in your PMI, of course, and your taxes, you are looking at a payment per month of $2,397. That is over $200 difference. It's a big difference. Now, let's go back to 2018 same time frame interest rates in late 2018 were starting to come up and the interest rate in 2018 of october 30th was 5.08 percent it's a big difference so if you take four hundred thousand dollar purchase 10 percent down a 30-year mortgage and you're paying pmi of course and you're paying your taxes you are looking at a monthly payment of $2,649. So if you bought your house two years ago versus today, you're looking at a $500 monthly difference. What could you do with $500? I mean, seriously. I mean, for a lot of people, that is you know, a car payment or college money, or you could pay off your credit card significantly sooner if, you're, if you have credit card um, payments. It's $500. It's a lot of money. So part of the reason I want to go over this with you all is I know inventory is low. We know it's low. It's going to be low. It'll come back. But this is just what happened, obviously, due to COVID. It's coming back, though, and it will come back. Interest rates will remain low. Take advantage of that if you can. Um, this is a good time to buy. And the other thing you might want to do, 
is I have a lot of people who come to my area and they have a certain set of criteria and a certain set of things that they want. Their price point will not allow them to have it. Maybe it does now, okay? You know, if you really wanted that third bedroom or you really wanted that pool or you wanted something that was a little bit more updated or you wanted to be off further off of a main street instead of on a main street or near a main street. You know, if you want to be in a certain area of Venice or Sarasota or Bradenton or Lakewood Ranch, this kind of interest rate may allow you to make that move, okay? So it's worth having that discussion. And for those of you that have high interest rates, this is the time to do something about it. You know, if you're in the fours or fives, you should be talking to your lender. Now, let me preface this by saying that your lender is going to take longer to close yours out than somebody who's under contract because there's deadlines to meet, but you'll still get your rate, okay? It's just going to take you a little bit longer because our lenders are overwhelmed right now with um, people buying properties and with people refining their, their um, current homes. So. Do me a favor, if you are considering this and you're not really sure what your interest rate payments, are, excuse me, what your monthly payments are gonna be, I'm gonna put a link into this um, video and you can go to a mortgage calculator that's on my website and you can check it out and you can get in there and play with the numbers, okay? And see what it looks like for you. It may be worth it for you to go ahead and take that leap. If you are going to stay within the same price point you're probably looking at a smaller mortgage, you know, a smaller monthly payment than you were, you know, six months ago, this time last year, two years ago. Um, if you really didn't find what you wanted, play with the numbers because you might be able to afford something a little bit more. And that's it, you know, if you're intending to move up or buy that second property, this might be the time for you to do it. I'll throw the link in there. And if you just have any questions about what you can afford, throw in the comments or send me a DM. I'm happy to go over numbers with you and then when it comes down to being very specific, we'll talk to a mortgage broker and then you can get very specific. Now, let me throw in this giant but, okay? These interest rates are published interest rates. That doesn't mean that you're gonna get that interest rate, okay? A lot of it depends on your credit score. A lot of it depends on your debt to income ratio. There are other factors that will depend, that will make a difference into what your interest rate is. However, the interest rates are still good. You may not get 2.6%, but if you can get them to 3%, I mean, that's huge. That makes a big difference for a lot of people. So just because you're seeing interest rates posted as of today, like 2.6%, that doesn't mean that's what you're gonna get. Other factors go into determining what your personal interest rate is gonna be, okay? So take that into consideration. If you have any questions on this, please throw it in the comments, send me a DM. I love hearing what y'all had to ask. And actually this whole thing about the um, differences in payments was a question from a buyer. And so I decided to put some numbers together for them. And if you have any questions on real estate in general, throw it in the comments, send me a DM. I love hearing what y'all have to say. It's fun. And I hope you guys are having a great day. So it is hot. It is just below 90 degrees. Uh, if you saw my other uh, shot I took earlier, it's a little windy out, even on the mainland. Um, and, but it's beautiful out, it's just gorgeous. And I think we're expected to get a little cool for Monday and Tuesday, and then we're gonna warm back up again. So I hope you all are having a great day. I hope you're enjoying yourself and have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye everybody.